welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today's job is to fix this chunk of four inch thick plate. So this plate comes from a local steel fabricator. They do heavy structural work. I do quite a bit with them guys. Um, and this one is one they had farmed out to a sister company that they, their plate machine will actually cut circles. So they actually burn these holes in it. And you can see where the torch marks from cutting. So pretty cool. Well, this one, they, they do a starter hole, which is something I learned with my copy torch. And something went wrong on this one. Now, I have no idea what the other side looks like because it's been sitting on the pallet when I went to look at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to work off this side. I'll probably center drill, and then we'll go in with an end mill and start opening it up and open it up slowly to the two inch size. Um, we'll open it up a ways until we get in there um, a good amount and then we'll probably go in with a drill just to finish it off. But uh, we'll get this set up on the Lucas 441B horizontal boring mill and we'll get to work. There's the hard part done. It's all set up. We've just got an angle plate up here that's indicated in. Um, one bolt through it, a couple of C clamps on that end, and then one of my stops that I made for the planer mill. And there's a video on that one. Uh, if you go back in the planer mill playlist, I believe, or into the older stuff, but there's a video on making these. And that's just to keep some pressure against it so it doesn't push. And this is the back side of the hole. This is what we got to, to try to fix. So, like I said, we're gonna come in on this side. They got their center punch mark. We're gonna center drill that. This is where they want it. So this is where we're gonna, how we're gonna do it. I also have it sitting up on spacers because I don't want that torch cut um, plate on my table. minus an eighth inch, so it's kind of ridiculous, but that's okay. Um, makes the job a lot easier. Um, they're putting an inch and three quarter bolt through these uh, two inch holes, so there's a lot of, a lot of play here. Now I'm gonna try drilling this out to three eighths, just to see where we are, um, see if I can get by the existing hole, their starting hole, and we'll go from there. I made it through. It doesn't look like it went straight, but that's okay. This was just a, well, actually there's their hole. Yeah, it went crooked a little bit, but we'll be okay. Um, Cause we're actually gonna go in with end mills, but this was just to get the center out and make life easier for us. So I'm just gonna, this is a Morse taper mill. So I'm just gonna knock out my, my drill here, run it back. So I got clearance. That's the nice thing about that Morse Taper 6 is they stand up nicely in the table. And we'll stick in my TG150 holder. And because I'm using an end mill, I am going to use my draw key that I made. And this thing just drops in there. 
Problem is I need both hands. I'm getting it. And then tighten up this screw and it pushes that key out and locks it into the spindle. So it can't wander out. And then I have one one inch end mill that's just four inches and that's the one we're going to use. So. That's the beast right there. That's what we got to work with. So we'll get this started. I got it set up for feed on the spindle. We're gonna feed it about three thousandths per revolution just to see how it goes and uh, we'll see what it does. just punched through. Um, in fact, there it is. Beautiful. So I don't have anything else on hand that's good and long. I just have this guy. This will actually get that little bit of the drill, their, their mark out of there, and then we should be able to go in with a drill and open it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy, get in as far as I can to give myself a starting point, and then we'll, we'll switch over to a drill and see what we can do. So I've also slowed down my spindle speed quite a bit and we'll continue feeding at that same feed rate. Seemed like that look, was working pretty good. So that's as deep as I can go with that end mill. Um, I'm in there a ways. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, that should give me a good pilot for my drill. So I know there's been a lot of interest in this boring mill draw key that I made. And we'll just pull it out here so you guys can take a look. And, oh boy, I gotta hold the camera. <laughs> but basically the way this one's set up is I gotta back this out the screw out and then I just give it a tap and it falls right out. Releases. So it is down here. Now it's pretty basic. Um, I don't have a pin holding that wedge in but it's just a wedge there and there's another wedge inside that goes in this end and a bolt. Um, threaded the full length to pull it 
So as you tighten it, oh here, I can do that. Try to hold the camera and do all this. So when it's retracted, and then as you tighten the bolt, it draws that, that wedge and pushes it out. Simple as that, um, works extremely well. All right, so we're just gonna use the standard two inch twist drill. I'm going to feed this at 6 thou per revolution, just to see how it goes. And I'll just feed it in by hand to start with and take a look at how it's cutting. And here's the power feed. Looks like I can speed up my feed rate a little bit. I'm gonna get in just a little further before I do that. But uh, looks like it's gonna cut really well. I don't see any run out on the drill. So I just bumped it up to 8 thou revolution and we'll just keep a close eye on it. But looks like it's cutting good. Um, I don't really wanna go much faster just because of the, the hole on this side. And we'll just take it real easy when we get to this end. We'll, we'll double check maybe slow down the feed just so it doesn't start hammering on us. So we made it through our larger pilot and I can hear it kind of thumping a little bit, but it's still cutting, still making a chip. Um, so we'll just keep on pushing and watch it. see anything there suspicious but I don't see the drill bouncing either so it looks looks like it's cutting okay it's just making a nice little chip So I want to stop and check. I want to see what we got going here just to make sure there is nothing going wrong. And it feels like she might be wandering a little bit. Well, like I said, we do have a lot of leeway on this thing. And yeah, that don't look too bad as far as straightness. Um, like I said, they, they gave me a plus or minus eighth inch, so. We're, we're in good shape.
Well, I'll have to say that went way better than I expected it to. Um, and it just it came out really nice. Um, other than that other end where they had already started the torch cutting. Yeah, you know, she gouged in pretty wide there. But that'll, that'll work for their application. They're happy with that. Um, so I can get this back to them quickly and, and uh, they can get back to work. So the old Lucas proved herself again. And with that, we'll end here. Until next time, I'll get this loaded up on the pallet and ready to go. And you get out in your shop and get it done right the first time. <laughs>